nice casino, Richie. If you want more pars, but you feel like you can't get your trail elbow in front of your body, let's look at the top culprits that will prevent you from getting this elbow in front. So in other words, you're getting stuck. On the downswing, this trail arm is getting stuck behind you, right? And you're struggling from pulls, low shots, possible slices, chunks from the fairway, top shots, nothing good. All right, so how do the pros get their trail elbow in front? Well, we're gonna talk about that right now. And I say the players that you see on tour, the ones that are really doing a great job of getting that elbow in front is because they're rotating their hips open and their torso, all right? Because that creates like a tunnel for your arm structure to, to move through. But you need to be able to rotate, all right? You need to be able to engage the side body, the obliques, get the hips to rotate open and stabilize so you can create that awesome tunnel, all right? Be able to stay in your forward bend, add some side bend, all right? This is side bend. It's side bend and rotation. That's what gets the elbow in front. Side bend and rotation. Side bend and rotation, all right? If we just have side bend, we could get stuck. Right, if we just had side bend on the downswing, we're going to get stuck. We need the rotation. All right? You also need to be able to have a little bit of external rotation here with your shoulder. All right? So if you have a hard time externally rotating your shoulder, I mean a lot of players on the downswing are kind of internal. All right? So they're internal with their shoulder. It goes this way. All right? So if you have a hard time externally rotating your shoulder, getting the elbow in front could be a challenge. That's why you got to work with a golf professional so you can find the best swing for you. Not every tour player has their arm in front. It's not like you have to have that. This is not a like a non-negotiable. It's an option. All right. So how do they do it? Let's talk about the the top culprits of why this happens. All right. There's always a reason. Why can't you get your trail elbow in front of your body like you see what the pros do? All right. So they get to the top and they're really in here like this and it looks awesome. All right. Well. Let's take a look at your takeaway, all right? Because right out of the gate, actually, let's take a look before your takeaway setup. All right, so I, let's start with setup. I see a lot of players really set up open with their shoulder line. So let's set up their shoulders. So this is square where the shaft of my shirt is parallel to the target line. I see players with their sternum on top of the ball. All right, they're trying to put their spine on top of the ball because that's what they think they should do and it opens up their shoulder line. So when they take the club back, they can't get the depth and they end up maybe with a flying elbow or they just lift the arms. All right, so just make sure when you set up with your shoulder line with the driver that your sternum is behind this club head and that'll square you up. All right, you don't have to add any excessive side bend. All you have to do is close your chest a little bit, and that takes care of your shoulder angle. I see a lot of players doing this. All right, I don't like that because it adds a lot of side bends, and then they end up like this at setup. All right, you're going to have a hard time getting through the shot. You're most likely going to hit hooks, overdraws. All right, so just get your sternum slightly behind the club head. Boom, that'll square you up. All right, that's key. Now, this is key on the downswing. All right, so let's assume now that you're in a good position at the top. You have nice wide hands, good structure. All right, so you're, you're here, less than 90 degrees or 90. You're not here. All right, let's assume you're good. Now from here, when we do our transition, we're going to move our pressure slightly and rotate strong with our obliques. All right, the obliques on our lead side. Boom. And what that's going to do, it's going to hollow out your core so you create like a, a tunnel for your arms to be in front, all right? And then you can go ahead and give it a rip. So you need to be able to stay in your posture and engage the lats and obliques, all right? You need to be able to get the lead hip open, all right? If you're one that struggles with rotation, this may be a challenge for you, all right? But this is for players that are able to rotate, all right? So I'm seeing a lot of this lately where folks are early hinging so folks are early hinging the wrists, all right? They're not moving their torso, they're early hinging the wrists. So then the club gets like this in the backswing, 
All right, and then from there, you're either gonna get steep, which is what most people do, or you're gonna get stuck if you add rotation. All right, because you're getting the club way out of position here. And you can see what happens to my trail elbow. It gets kind of collapsy. We lose our structure, all right, by early hinging and taking your hands away from your body. I'm just exaggerating to make a point, but I've actually seen this. All right, and the torso doesn't move. You're going to get stuck when you start moving forward. All right, that's a big one. That's a popular one. I see that all the time. All right, when you just pull the arms back and you don't move your torso or your hips, say your hips are super stable as well, your trail elbow has no choice. All right, so make sure that you're turning your torso and also allowing the hips to rotate. If you keep your hips crazy stable, it's gonna block your torso rotation and you kind of get stuck, so the minute you start moving forward, you're done, all right? So make sure you move your torso. During your takeaway, keep your hands nice and wide. Allow your hips to turn a little bit. But what happens is players get too deep because simply because they're not moving their torso or they're keeping their hips way too stable. Now, is it paramount that you get your elbow in front? No. All right, there's a lot of great players that don't. Not everyone does it, it's okay. I'm just showing you the popular culprits if you happen to be one that is mishitting your shots so you're really getting stuck, all right? I mean, look at Jim Furyk, Brooke Henderson, her iron shot, she, she's not having that trail arm in front. So it's not like do or die, you have to do it. I'm just showing you the pop popular culprits if you're one that thinks that you, you need to do it, your golf professional saying that you recommended that you do it, but you just can't seem to find out how. Right? Other ways that people get stuck is literally just taking the club too inside. All right? Too inside and too flat with the shoulder line. All right? So they're just down here, and then when they start to rotate, they're stuck. Okay? So if that sounds like you, you go to the top, you really got to engage your obliques, and I'll show you from the other angle. All right, because I have actually a flat backswing, but I engage my obliques, and that gets my arm more in front of my body. I'm actually not perfectly in front. I have a tiny bit, right, but it does not affect my ball striking one bit. That's why I say you don't have to get the elbow in front. All right, so let's do a little recap here. Check your setup. Make sure you're not too open. Make sure your takeaway is awesome. Make sure you're staying wide, and this is with your irons, too. Stay wide on either side of the fence so you can keep your structure, all right? Because when we get collapsy, we're going to run into trouble getting that trail elbow in front of our body, all right? The other thing to look at is make sure you have enough rotation, all right? So if you're a player that doesn't really rotate the hips or the torso for whatever reason, all right, you're going to have kind of a different move on the downswing. You're not going to have this move, all right? It's impossible because you really need the, the hips and the torso to rotate. You need the rotation on the side bend to get this move, right? If you don't have that, no biggie, all right? You'll go to the top. You can still keep your arms in front, but you'll have a different pattern. You'll be more in to out. The forearms will be rotating. You'll feel like the club's whiz and pie, and then you finish. Whereas someone that really rotates hard, let's say a Matt Wolf, where they really get that trail arm in front, they have a lot of rotation with the hip and the torso. All right, so either one is fine. The key is we just don't want to get stuck. All right, if we're way back here and we got the elbow moving back like this, we're going to get stuck. All right, we just don't want the extremes with the trail elbow getting stuck. All right, if you have any questions about this, leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer in future tips.